Question number three. Diagram one shows the relation of three sets. Question A, they asked to find GX. So let's see what we have got here. So we got, first we have FX. From here, FX is what? X become X plus 2, right? So FX equals to X plus 2. Because you got the object F, uh, object X become X plus 2. And then we also have this. Okay. So this is, is not GX. Huh? If you write GX equals to 3X minus 4, your answer is wrong. Okay. This part here is wrong. Because this is not GX. 3X minus 4 is starting from the beginning here. Okay, so that means from x, all you have to go through two of this function to get 3x minus 4. So 3x minus 4 is not gx, it is. It's actually a composite function. So it's going to be g f x. Okay, g f x. Okay, we always write in, uh, we don't write like forward la, like this. La. We don't follow like f g x, no. We write the last one first then only the second one okay all right so now they asked to find gx so to find gx huh, let's see what we can do so what we can do is we can do this way we want we already have gf gf x right so if you just want to find g what we can do is we can put a inverse f here so that you can eliminate the because this one is sort of like neutralize this, so your answer you'll get is gx. Okay, so first step we want to do is we want to find the inverse function of f. Okay, inverse function. Okay, wait. So let me write it here. So fx is fx equals to x plus 2. So I'm going to use this become y. So y minus 2 equals to x. So this x now will become the new f. The, the inverse, so it's f inverse equals to x minus 2. Okay, so now you've got the inverse function. So you just have to substitute into the, substitute into the gfx. So it's going to be g f and then f inverse x. Okay, so where is your gf? Okay, so 3... Okay, gf is what? 3x minus 4, right? But instead of writing x, you have to write the f inverse. So it's going to be x minus 2 minus 4. Okay, so expand this, you get 3x minus 6 minus 4. Answer is 3x minus 10. Okay, now question B. Question B, they ask for f2. Okay, so B, they ask for f okay this is not square please don't mistaken this for square this is not square this means this is actually f f okay it's actually f f so that means you're substituting f x as the object of f okay so it's going to be um f plus two plus two again so x plus four done okay next question okay the third one here so they ask you to find fn usually when they ask you to find this right they want to see a pattern okay so we're going to find f3 first we're going to find f3 so f3 is actually equals to what f2 with another f right it's basically this so what we're going to do is we're going to substitute fx into the f2 so it's going to be x plus 2 plus 4 equals to x plus 6. So what do you see here? You notice that when I'm looking for f, sorry, sorry, give me a minute. When we are looking for fx is given to you, right? x plus 2. When the power here is 2, uh, you get x plus right so that means it's two times this two times another two correct and if let's say it's f3 you get x plus six so what relationship can you see the number here changes based on the power here right if power one you take this power times two you get two 
If the power here is 2, you times 2, you get 4. Correct? If the power here is 3, you times 2, you get 6. So that means if I'm finding for Fn, it would be equal to x plus 2 times n. So this is your answer. Okay, so they say find the function Fn in terms of n and x. So this is your answer lah.